Good afternoon, everybody. Here we are again. How is it going over there? Now, today it's a little bit sunny over here. I'm not quite sure what the weather's like outside, though, because we've been indoors all day. Obviously getting ready for uh, for the shows on Sunday. So, um, yeah, <laughs> a bit busy. It's a bit crazy busy, actually. So, <laughs> but not to worry. It's all in hand. So here we go. Hi, there, everybody. Uh, 1033. I, I had this crazy minute that it was 132 and uh, I thought I'd better check back just to make sure. And it's not. It's tile 133. So here we go. Uh, pastel tile. And I'm just going to bring in just a little bit of ink. Um, and I'm using a little bit of um, cut and dry. Now everybody has their own preferences, don't they, for how they apply ink. And I did uh, do a demo on Monday, just sort of after the owl. Uh, just to sort of give you an idea. There's there's lots of ways, but everybody does their own thing. And all I want to do is just sort of um, mix it up a little bit. Hey, Garth. Just because I, I want, I don't want a, a seriously bright, white, shiny, clean tile. I wanted a little bit of colour. And I'm not worried about whether it's blended or not. So I'm only adding the bit, a bit of blue. But I know I normally do this again before... We come in and start tangling, but I thought today I'll just sort of make sure you can see what I'm doing. You see there's got, you know, a little bit of a smudgy bits in places, but that's absolutely fine. It's got a little bit of something, yeah. Oh, is it tile? Yeah, tile swaps. We're getting uh, quite a few of these tile swaps coming in. If you're not sure what we're talking about, then maybe you should have a look at the video on tile swap that we did. It's always the third Monday of the month we actually do that, so... Need to have a check on it and see what's going on. I know, and they're all arriving, and then we do the swap. It's so exciting. All right, let's move that out of the way. I'm back to my. Oh, I've still got salt all over the place, you know, from when uh, the salting. There we go. So, a bit of a tile. What have I got with me? Regular pen, my pencil, my tortillon. I've got my white chalky pencil just in case. I've got a white jelly roll. I've got a blue Jolly Roll Metallic and I've got my coloured pencils. I'm actually using this range at the minute. Uh, it's just got quite a nice sort of collection in there. And John very nicely has sharpened them all for me. So here we go. Are we ready then? Oh, hello, Charlotte. <laughs> From the newbie. Yeah, hi. Welcome. Are we ready for this? Woohoo. Okay, so I'm not even going to go in with a border today, a pencil or anything. I'm going to go straight in with my pen. Are you ready for this? Deep breath. All right, let's just remember that they're supposed to be relaxing. We're supposed to be chilling out and we're supposed to be just letting things go a little bit, okay? All right, okay. Okay, so um, let's have a look what I'm going to sort of work in. I'm going to sort of work down this bottom area just for a little and I'm going to create a little bit of a of a bubble or an oval sort of shape. If you want to just hang on a minute, you'll just sort of get the idea of how large I'm going to go with this shape. There we go. All right. Oh, so I'll look out for your tile swap there. It's so exciting. I love doing the tile swaps. I'm ever so glad we started doing them. It's sort of like one of those things you think, why didn't we start it before? Why didn't we do it last year? Well, no, not a problem. It's it's going now, so everything's working. And I do like, actually, how you're all um, starting, to, well, not all, but you're starting to decorate your envelopes as well. So it's like getting happy posts. I get all the happy posts. It's great. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, don't forget, you know, just in case, always put your address on the back, just so, you know, if there is any ever a problem, it's, yeah. Okay, so I've got three. I might come and do more later, but I think three for now. Um, and I've got this sort of triangular shape going on. Okay, so I'm going to work on this one here first. I'm going to turn it round and go a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to start sort of this. I'm, I'm working at 12 o'clock here, putting a little line in. Okay. Oh. And then that's just sort of adding a few more lines. There we go. I've not gone quite to the bottom there. Can if you like. 
<laughs> than saying this way. All right. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. Oh, Maureen, I've not had my hair done in a while. <laughs> but it's okay. It'll tie up. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to do the same on this one here. And uh, just sort of add that little, it's like a little tuft of hair, isn't it? See, just always working from the bottom, working it outwards. Okay. And then the next one here. See, I'm going to turn this one this way. And I'm going to add in that line as well. Okay, so let's just have a little look at that so you can, oh, if I can, there you are. Oh, look at them, funny little things, aren't they? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm going to go back to this one now. And uh, let's make that a little bit larger. Oh, so many birthdays. Happy birthday, everybody. Where's our cake? You should have said. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to work from here, imagine down to here, but I'm going to do it. There's a little bit of a curve, okay? And then I'm gonna aura that line. I'm gonna try and keep it quite thin. Okay. Oh, look at you, Richard, showing off. <laughs> Your motorhome. Oh, no, that's lovely. Have a, have a great time. I hope you're going somewhere nice. At least you can take tangling gear with you, can't you? So you're all right. Okay, I'm going to get a third one in there. There we go. Now, I actually want to do the same with this here. Because I can't fit it on the inside, I'm just going to slightly extend the outer shape there. Okay. So I'm going to just turn it round. There we are. And I'm going to do the same this side. So let's put that first curve in, in the center there. Punk pumpkins. <laughs> and there. And let's just bring in a second one. And in we go. So I'm just doing the same as before, adding that lovely little curve. And then doing an aura, aura if you're not sure, it's where we draw around or next to something, just to sort of repeat it. <laughs> and alongside. Okay, so let's have a little look at that. There we go. So remember that one was sort of down this bottom end, wasn't it? So we've got that kind of shape going on. So I'm going to do the same now with the other two. I'm going to keep you guessing just for a little bit longer as to uh, how this is all going to connect okay and just work now if you can only get three into this shape well you've got more than that's absolutely fine please don't think it's got to be an exact replica to be honest if i had to do it again i don't think i'd be able to do an exact replica because they're always going to be different and you know that so don't you worry about it. Okay, here we go. Turning it round again. And working on this side. It's just more comfortable to turn the tile and do it this way. And it's nice to, to just be able to relax into it. And I think as well, if you're doing curves from the same direction, you tend to feel like you get a better result. So, you see, I've got a little bit on the end. I'm just going to extend. Okay, and then into this one. So again, there's that curve. And another one. And then let's do the same again. Now, of course, once we've done what we're doing here, if you think you want to add more of these in, you can do. I mean, I don't know. I might even add another one in later. Who knows? See how it goes. I mean, yes, there's always a plan of fashion, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't mean I have to follow it exactly. It doesn't mean that 
everything's going to be exactly the same as, as how I thought it. Just depends how it goes. Um, see, this one's quite close. I'm going to sneak a little one in there and then over and along there. Okay. So we've got three of those. Those are a little bit onion like as well, maybe, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Joe. See, great minds. Yeah. <laughs> great minds think alike, or as John would say, fools never differ. <laughs> it was good. I had a couple of little sort of lines. See there? If you can get a couple along the top there. Not, you see, not in those little stripes, in the little gaps. There we go. And the same on this one. It just couple of flicks either side and then let's just add a few flicks in there see so far so good we can manage this same in this one there we go just uh, we always sort of go from this area that's just making that a little bit darker and then your flicks just na naturally uh, get thinner you know as you work your way out Okay, so let's have a focus now on this bit. So looking at the, the bottom edge, really, let's just add a little bit of a curve that way and a curve that way. And then I'm going to curve it that way. All right, might even make that a little bit, a little bit of lines in there. Okay, same with this one. To there, curve that way curve that way and that way and we'll just add a couple of little lines so there and there and just little lines working our way up okay so now I'm gonna let's, let's make it a little bit so you can see where I'm going now Okay, so it's a decision as to which one you're going to do first. I think I'm going to start with this one. I mean, that this is where I, uh, I sort of started from. And I'm going to come on in and let's take from that. And I'm going to create a bit of a curve, you see. Bring it down, sort of a bit of a stem. There we go. All right. Okay, yeah, a little bit like seed heads. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to do the same with the others. I'm going to work on this one now. And then we'll see where the others fit in a little while. So I'm going to start, I think, down this bottom edge. And again, you might just want to watch this before you get carried away. You see as well, I've not gone right to the end. Just left a little bit of a mark there. So I'm going to come on up and around. But I'm going to come almost back around on myself quite large that isn't it and then back around and I'm going to make a little bit of a a dent in there and then come back round again see I've kept it quite thin there and then it's going to come down and again it's going to join that sort of stem shape okay so I'm going to come in a little bit larger now so you can see what I'm doing all right, deep breath now, we've got this. Are you ready? So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna bring it from this section here and I'm gonna come round and again, it's sort of like an aura, but then as I get round this curve, I'm gonna join it, see? And then I'm gonna sort of swap over to this side and then I'm gonna follow this side around. Okay, and then it's going to get closer and closer and closer till it touches the stem again. Okay, same again. I'm going to come from about here and bring this round. You see, and then join in with that last one. And then back in and around. And then again, joining, oh, joining the stem. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm going to go in with a fourth. It's a tally up to you. You can leave it at three. See, so I've joined again. And then I'm going to come on in and join down to that stem. 
And we've got a little bit of a shape here. So let's, uh, let's put a bubble in there. So I'm just going to go around a few times. And then each little bubble is just going to get a little, little smaller each time I sort of draw one. Until it's almost just a little dot. Okay. Oh, no, Chris, you need tiles, that's really funny. You've got enough tiles. You need to get them drawn on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's come back in there. I'm going to come this way. I'm going to go on up here, but I'm going to go underneath and back out over here. I'm keeping it quite large, almost back on itself. And then... Following it back round, see, making a little bit of a dint in there, and then bringing it all the way around again, keeping it quite narrow if you can. We'll just join that one, and then back and down to the stem. All right, we've got this. So this time we're going to obviously go the opposite way. So again, I'm, I'm sort of working from this little point here, and I'm going to come on in and draw around. And so it's going to touch that curve there. You can see? It's around and it touched there. And then I'm going to sort of transfer to the inside and then create a little bit of an aura on the inside until that one too joins with that stem. All right. Let's do another. So around and then it's going to join to that side. And then back around and in there. Now you see this one, I might actually, yeah, I'm going to leave it at three. And I've got four on this one, but that really doesn't matter. Champagne truffles does sound lovely. Tell you what the uh, oh, hotel chocolate champagne truffles, the pink champagne truffles are particularly delightful. I do have to eat some of them, they're lovely. Okay, same again, look, just some little bubbles in there. There we go, looks lovely, doesn't it? I like that. All right, let's go out a little bit. Okay, so now it's a case which one do you sort of want to work with? You want to work with this one? You want to work with that one? Because that's going to have an impact on where it fits and whether it goes behind or, or whatever. So, <laughs> Lynn, I know. <laughs> we always talk cakes. It's always because of Julie. She starts it. Because she's made cookies and things. And we all get really jealous. So, okay. <laughs> Working from here. I'm going to come on down. And again, I'm going to bring that stem. Now, if it doesn't sort of work and come in with that one, it doesn't matter. It's fine. But, you know, I'm just going to... Leave it there. I'm not, I, I might decide I'm going to put a border, so. All hotel chocolates, all the rain, that's funny. I don't know, if it's a little bit too dark, it gets a bit too bitter for me. I'd, you know, I'm, I'm more of a milk chocolate. Okay, so I'm not going to start from here. I'm going to start from about here. And I'm going to come on up. And around. See, I'm going to go quite large. Almost all the way around. And then back on myself, that little dent in there. And then follow it round. Now, if you find that it's a little bit sort of, you're getting a bit wobbly with this, then stop and start if you need to. Relax your pen a little bit. You don't want to be putting your pressure on. Let the pen do the work, not your hand. Okay. So then, same again. Like I'm going to come from here. And I'm going to bring it round. Almost like I'm going to follow the curve around again. But it's going to touch that edge. And then this edge. See, so I've just swapped sides really, haven't I? And in and around. Nice and easy. Down. So it joins the stem. So again, see this time I can't quite get there. Let's have a look there can't quite because it's you know it's going underneath so we're going to imagine that that's what's happening and it's going to come out there but again it's going to join then I swap sides and come on back round 
So this time it's got to go underneath there because obviously that's sort of working together there. There we go. I'm going to leave that at three. But again, if you want to add another, go on and add another, that's fine. And then there's those little bubbles going on again. I'm just going to hold my tile a little there. Okay. So you're just getting smaller each time. Doesn't matter how far it goes. Just when you run out of little bubbles, see them there. Come on back in, I think, and just fill in those areas. So that one's a little larger, isn't it? Let's see, I've just noticed a bit there. I'll fill in. Any gaps, just go ahead and fill them in. Okay, look at that, I love that. Okay, so let's do another. I'm gonna come in around here. And again, just by sort of niche, it's just coincidence that that one's touching there and going underneath. It doesn't have to. Back in and around. And then, there's that little dint again. And just follow it round. No rush for this, just take your time. There we go. And then back in. Almost. There you go to nothing. Okay. So from here, same again. I'm going to bring it down and round until it comes to the curve there, joins. A bit wobble. Swap sides and back in. There we go. And follow it down until again it sort of comes to nothing at the bottom. Here we go, same again. So I'm going to just turn it slightly. Let's just, uh, that's a little more comfortable. There we go. And then of course, as I work my way round here, I'm just going to bring it back all the way down. There we go, until it goes to nothing. And again, I think I'll uh, do another one. I've got the space, so why not? Yeah, and then swap sides. See that one's going to go underneath and down to that one. Okay, so let's uh, add a couple of bubbles just as before. All right, getting smaller each time, and again, any of those little areas just sort of go ahead and fill with a bit of black. Oh, Lorraine, <laughs> the owls, they are lovely, aren't they? Look at that, I love that, it's really pretty, isn't it? like how this is sort of working, and it's almost like the leaves are sort of more of a feature than the actual uh, sort of shape, but I like both, it's really good. Oh, Christy, thank you, do you know, yeah. and I think with that, a little bit of darkness around the edge as well, it makes a difference, doesn't it? So, okay, we've, we've got this one here now. It's going to go in and behind that one. Now you can bring your stem out a little. I mean, yours depends exactly where you you put it on your tile. So you, you're going to get something similar. But, uh, oh, Charlotte, don't be scared. They're, they're just stencils. Do you know what? doesn't matter if there's something that's not quite, you know. You might like what's coming out at the weekend. Do you know, I sat there a few weeks ago now. I thought, do you know, I've got my stencils and I thought, I don't want to be sitting with my stencils while I'm watching the blacklist. <laughs> I just <laughs> I want to tangle, but I don't want to get my stencils out. So I've actually come up with a solution where I can still tangle. And it's still sort of using my stencils, but it's not. Hmm. Yeah, intriguing. Yes. So that's what we're busy making at the minute. And you know what? Absolutely, it's great. I do love it. It means you can just sit over the evening, put your feet up, get your pen out and just sort of tangle away. And then, of course, you can, uh, whatever you create, you can come back to another day and add to it with your larger stencils and your frames and things. And yeah. I'll, uh, 
I'll post a few pictures later, maybe. Or maybe I might show it you Friday. All right, here we go. There's bubbles again. See, getting smaller and smaller. Oh, Julie, I know. <laughs> I bet you're on about season four already. <laughs> oh, no, it, it's very addictive. Oh, I know, Viv, but it's, you know, if I told you everything, it spoil the surprise, wouldn't it? I don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay. But I will, sh I will show you this week at some point. Okay, so this one now, you can see it's it's sort of coming in and underneath. So it's almost trying to... What have I done there? I don't know. Trying to work out where it's sort of all headed. There we go. I'm going to bring that one in a little bit more. I can sort that in a minute. So again, let's just sort of pretend... There we are. That we can see what we're doing. And we can't really. There we are. And then I'm going to add some bubbles in. I'm not worried about that a little bit in the middle there. We'll sort that in a minute. There we go. Oh, just make sure they join. And any gaps. All right. So, quite liking the way that that's sort of worked out at the minute. But, what's the blacklist? Oh, don't get us started. <laughs> Okay, so, so we've got sort of, we, we could come in and add more sort of these little uh, shapes and stuff, but I'm not going to, I want to add a few extra bits and pieces in here. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start about here. I'm going to bring in a um, bit of a curve. I'm going to put a little blob on the end. Okay. And then um, I'm going to split that blob sort of in half. You see, I sort of followed the curve around. I'll come a little bit larger for that now. Ah, oh, Lorraine, no, there is already an artistic forms and frames book too. There is. There we are. And in there. And then from the same stem. And then another. See, I'm moving underneath each time, so that's sort of going to hide there, isn't it? Well, let's bring another one out here. There we go. And I'm going to do another one there. Ooh, let's go that way. Okay. And then just on the top here, I'm just going to come on in and add a little bit of a curl. And I'm just going to add a little bit of weight on that. Just sort of add a little bit there too. I think while I'm at it, I'm, I'm going to just come on in and just fill in the tops of those little shapes. I think it's just nice to have a little bit of the depth. So adding a little bit of black ink there so makes all the difference. There we go. And a touch there. Okay, so let's see what we've got. All right, so we need to add a few more of these in. So I'm going to just come on up in here. And I'm just going to have a little bit of one there. See, now you can see where it's starting to take shape. We're sort of adding extra bits and pieces in the background. So this one is going to come on up. Just sort of working its way through. Let's have one in here. And then you see it's going to sort of come up and into here. So a lot of this is imagining where these are going to be because, of course, it's all behind. I think, well, why didn't she put these in first? Well, uh, when you're working with a pen, you've got to put the foreground in to start with because, obviously, then you don't want certain things having pen lines in and amongst what you're, you're working on. I'm going to make that a bit thicker there. There we are. And of course, just to top it off, a bit of a curl, let's just add a touch of weight to each of those. And then let's go another curl that way. You see how that one sort of works its way round? That's fine, you can do that. Oh, Beverly moving. That's, that's a bit drastic, isn't it? Sounds exciting now. There we are. Okay. Just uh, going to fill that one in now as I go along. Same that way. And then 
into there. Just filling those top sections. So another one. There we go. Filling that one in. And up and around another curl. And turning it on itself there so it's a little bit heavier in places. So you've got a bit of dimension there. And again, I, could, I like to cross them over. There we are. Okay. Well, it's starting to sort of build now, isn't it? Now, of course, you could stop doing these any time you like. You don't have to add as many in as I have. It's entirely up to you. So you're going to miss that one there. It's going to be underneath. So let's put another one in. So again, little curls on the top, and that one in there, and one round here. See, that one sort of goes underneath as well, that's fine. Okay, so you know it needs a little bit here, doesn't it? So I'm going to bring in another one, sort of heading up that direction. Okay, see there, we could have had that going straight across, straight across but I'm going to... Continue with it underneath. There we go. So a little bit there, and then let's have one coming out here. Again, just sort of enjoying filling that little section in. And we get another one there. It's amazing, isn't it? When you think not so long ago this was just a, a blank tile, and we got a few pens lying around. And to be honest. We've not even uh, changed pen yet. We're just using exactly the same pen we started with. So no big, uh, no big sort of <laughs> crafty stash or toolkit we need today, is it? It's just uh, little bits. All right, let's have a look at that. Okay, quite liking that. I think uh, absolutely. I think just because Julie is around today, we will sort of honour her with a few zingers. There we go then. So, if you're not sure what a zinger is, curved line. I'll bob them on the top. There we go. Aura, aura, aura. And you see, each time it's getting small and smaller till there's nothing left. Let's do another one this side. So again, be careful with these because you can end up with the tiles full of <laughs> full of zingers. We don't want to overdo it, okay? So let's uh, we'll put one in here. They can sort of fit in anywhere and they seem to have a life of their own in terms of which way they're going. I know, Julie, just for you. There you are, look. And you can start bigger and, you know, so they, they bigger. I'm going to curve in a little bobble on the end just so it looks like there's uh, uh, something coming off from there. All right, might just sort of have one coming out here. So it's going sort of underneath. There you go. All right, and there. Uh, so you've just got to sort of spatter them around a little. Let's have a little bit of a. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's just bring one. It's almost sort of you. You can. I'm. I'm imagining drawing them as to where they're gonna sort of land. So rather than you know just sort of throw them anywhere, I'm thinking about it a little. So that one's gonna go underneath. There, there we go. Okay. So then we don't overdo it. Don't put too many on. Okay. I'm just gonna see. I've got a bit of a stem here where that curl comes in. So I'm just gonna add those little bubbles there just to finish that area off a touch. Quite like that idea. Okay. So I think uh, before we actually uh, do anything else, I think we need to get a little bit of shadow in there. So, okay, I'm gonna come in with my regular, my pencil, all right? And first thing I'm going to do, let's start with these little uh, sort of seed head kind of shapes. Okay, so easy done with this one is I'm going to come on in and I'm going to add some pencil to the top there and pencil here. Okay, 
So I'm going to do the same with those as well. Let's just get those in and done. So keep it repetitive and just sort of follow with the process. It's kind of nice to see it build up this way, if I'm honest. Don't worry about it being neat. So this bottom end, I'm going to add a little bit there, see, and a little bit on that stem there. So see, right underneath and then where I've put that little curve. And same on all of them. All right. Okay. Oh, God, yes, send your best wishes to your mum. Oh, the tangle on Monday. It was all about the owls, wasn't it? I did, so. Oh, the mooka. Was, it, was that the one that we did? I can't remember. It's been a while since then. Okay, let's have a look at these shapes. So, sort of imagine it for a minute. We started, if you, if you remember, with this sort of round shape here. And then we added these extra ones onto it. So, I, what I want to do is add the pencil to the extra ones. You see, just there where it comes into that join. I'm only going about halfway up. And then following it round, see where it sort of swaps over, ignoring the bubbles. So then I'm going to add some there. Okay, so I've not touched that original shape. It's just either side of them. Let's do another. Here we are. So this one, there's the original. So I'm going to add here. And then here. Just actually while I'm at it, I'm just going to add a little bit to the bottom edge as well. So, same on here, look. Just on those edges there. Right. Same here. This one. Just that bottom edge there. And then ignore that original line we drew and I'm just going to put some pencil on the underside there. Okay. Same again. So, let's do that that edge, follow that round, I'm just going to do that edge and then on the other side I'm going to do that bit. Okay, same here, now we can sort of imagine here a little bit I think, it's just about, um, I'm going to do a little bit in so we've got some shadow. One more, follow there and there and then underneath on the other side, those two. Okay, a little bit on one side of the zingers. Well, it doesn't matter which side, really doesn't. There we are. Just sort of, uh, as long as it's got one going for it. There we go. All right. So these little shapes here, I'm, I'm gonna, just gonna add a little bit just on the bottom there. Where you can, because of course some of them they're sort of hidden underneath. You can't really see much. Oh, sorry, you can't really see much going on there. There we go. They're just little bits. All right, bit there. Look. All right. Now it's quite tempting, isn't it, to uh, to sort of uh, do all the shadows and the touching at the same time? But I quite like putting the pencil on first and then sort of watching it build so okay my little paper stub my little tortillon I'm just softening the edges of the pencil I've added you see just ever so gentle the same here I'm working my way from the outside edge just sort of following the shape working my way up okay so let's do this one too Just try if you can and, and keep it pencil free in the centre because you don't want to be uh, touching that if you can help it. You want a bit of a highlight there, you see? Alright, third one. I can imagine this. This would look nice as an embroidery, I think. You know, all the different stitches and things. It'd be quite nice. Alright, so same on this one. Now this time I'm going to just add 
a little bit either side. See, I've just softened it a touch. And then, of course, this one, let's just pull it round a little. So I've actually not touched that main shape there. So here, just see, little bits either side. Again, keeping that, like, highlight down the middle there. And then coming on down and just sort of pulling that down the stem a little. All right, let's work on this one being that it's here. Both sides, so we've got that little highlight. And then this one, let's just push it down that stem a little bit. Okay. We'll see while we're here, let's just sort of soften the edges of those. Okay. I'm working my way around. Bit of a, a stem. We're just again, just going to pull that down. See, it doesn't take much. It doesn't need much. And it's not about trying to sort of move it along the whole stem, it's just adding a touch in there. Okay, so into this one. Again, everything sort of repeats, so once you've got the first one, it's just a case that you follow it through and you just keep it going, working your way around. Try not to put your hand in it. If you can, you can avoid doing that, that would be great. So we don't want to unnecessary smudging if we can help it. All right, so here we go, same again, look, there and there. And into that one. Okay, I think I've just got a stem to do here. There's a little bit more work to do on this, of course, but let's just have a look at it. Oh, a little bit there. Where it is at the moment, okay. All right, so not bad at all, not bad at all. So it's a case that say it needs a little bit more. I think before we do anything with uh, more pens and stuff, I'm going to bring in a bit of pencil work. So what have I got? I've got a white pencil, blue. Could do with another blue. Okay, a couple of blues there. I might even bring in, uh, yeah, a touch of just a touch of green. You see, I've got that something that harmonises. I've gone with the blue because obviously I've got a blue tile, but you can use anything that you want to do. If you want a bit of a contrast, you can uh, you could put that in. So let's, let's start with, I want to have a look at these little bubbles. So what I'm going to do is start with the white pencil. Let's go a bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, that's about as large as I can get, I think. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white in that top, top edge. I'm going to do all of them while I'm at it. I'm not going to get much in there, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then I'm going to come in with the darkest blue. Just add a little bit in that area there. Okay, so it's almost like just putting a little bit, like I do with a pencil, a bit of a smirk on. Then uh, the lighter blue, just going to sort of work that round. Now because they're really small, it's quite forgiving, so you don't have to worry about getting it perfect. See, I might not even get the green in there. I might just leave it as that. Oh, oh there you go. So just, just a touch. I don't want to cover all the whole, whole that white area up. I just want to do a little bit. There you go. Let's have a look at that from a distance. You see how it starts to look? Okay. So I'm just going to darken that bottom edge with that darkest blue. I'm just going to go in with another layer. So let's have a look at the other bubbles. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it, oh, I haven't, I'll do the white first. Do the white first, you get in the hang of that. And then you don't forget that it's there because there's almost like a resistance, even if you can't see it, when you come to sort of work with your pencils. So you, you sort of instinctively think, oh, now I remember now, I shouldn't be coloring in that bit. So there's the darker one. This is my lighter blue. Notice I've just sort of changed the way I'm adding the colour. It's almost like a little zigzag effect, isn't it? And then there's that little bit of green, like just sort of working my way around that white. But I've still got a piece of white there. Now, again, you might not see the green exactly, but we know it's there. Okay. So in with that white again. 
going back to the darker blue. I'm just adding a little bit in. Now if you want to go and do all the darker blue first and then all the light blue, it's up to you. But I'm just doing small sections at a time so you can see where it's sort of, where it's working. See, so here we go. Again, coming in with that white, I can go in and add it there too. So just keep moving the tile. There you are, a little bit of blue. Working my way around there. See, some of them are so tiny that you won't get a lot in, but it's just nice to have a little hint of colour. I'm not even going to worry about the green on that one. And here's another. Again, just coming with that white. I'm going to do that one while I'm in the same area. Just a little bit. And then into blue. So I'll do that one as well. There you go. Now, while I'm at it, I've noticed, see there, I've not quite softened the edges of those. Let's do that. See, switching from one to the other is fine. Or I could have come back to it, but I'd probably forgotten. And then a little bit of green in there. So while I've got the green in hand, remember those stems that we didn't colour fully? I'm just going to add a touch over the pencil there, just on that bottom edge, you see? So very gently pulling it down, so working from the pencil there that we put in that grey and just sort of bringing a bit down. I'm not trying to press on or anything, it's almost like just giving it, um, smooth that out a bit, a little bit of a hint of colour. So nothing major. Right, see where we're at. Woohoo! All right, see, it's just a lovely touch, very subtle. All right, and with that little bit of blue on there. Okay, so let's bring in our uh, white pencil. And when I say white pencil, it's more of a pastel. So if you've got the pastels, you can use the white out of that one because you're wanting a little bit more of a chalky effect. Because as you'll notice, when I actually put the pastel on there, it's really noticeable, isn't it? Now ignore these lines. I'm going to actually put them along the inner bits there, you see? So I've left those little lines. And then let's work our way to this one. So in the middle there, look. Just sort of leaving those gaps. Leaving those gaps. I'm going to turn my tile. I'm going to do it this way because I've said I don't want to sort of put my hand on the tile now and uh, smudge this anyway. And of course, if you've used pastel and you're like, well, how do I print a jewel then? I don't want to smudge it. A little bit of hairspray or fixative, sort it out and it'll fix it for you so it doesn't go all over the place. So, of course, we've got extra highlights in these places. So, if I come on in and add the pens or the pastel there. See on this one as well. See, it's just sort of bringing that little bit of a highlight in. Just on this one too. So wherever you've sort of left that highlight. Now, even if you're working on a, a regular tile or a, a bright white tile, just still come on in and put this in. It, it, it does make a difference. It's worth doing. Okay. So let's have a quick look at this. Oh. All right, look how the difference that makes. Okay, so I've got, I did mention I've got a metallic, like a blue uh, jelly roll pen. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna come on in and just fill in those lines just where I can, just in between that white that I've just added in there. It's a little bit of a mix today, isn't it? It's not just pencil, it's a little bit of gel pen as well. Now, I'll tell you what would be nice using one of the, the bright, vivid pinks from the Sweets gel pen set, wouldn't it? If you'd got like a pink tile or, or a yellow tile with pink on it, that would be nice. I've, uh, I've kept it on the blues today. It's got 
dark hint to green. Well, kind of nice. Okay, and I notice that I'm not necessarily going all the way up. I'm not creating the stripes. It completely depends on if I can get my pen into the, the lines that I've drawn already. So don't think that they've got to go all the way to the top. They haven't. Okay, let's see this one. So just, uh, again, starting in the middle. You can see now why I didn't put any white in these. Because um, I didn't want to have a sort of slightly different texture with that chalk underneath the gel pen. It's not what we wanted. Okay, and then I'm just going to add some of that gel pen, little dots on the top. Now, of course, if you've not got a gel pen or you think, do you know what, I don't want to add colour, then by all means, come on in and do this with your black pen. It's not a problem. You can do whatever you want to do. It's your tile. It's sometimes it's nice to add that touch of colour. But you don't have to. Okay. So not far off. I'm going to come in now with my white gel pen. Okay, let's have a look. So, there we are. Oh, I love that. It's really nice. Go in a little bit. So, we've got, got a few different gaps and bits and pieces. And I did talk about putting a border. Uh, do I want to put a border in? Um, do you know what? I'm not sure if I do. Now, it's, it's, it's your decision. If you want to put a border in, what you'd do, you'd come in with your pen. And then, you'd actually, actually, no, I'll go on the wheel. I'll do a border. I'm going to put, I'm not going to do my dots, but I'm going to do a little bit of a wave, sort of on purpose. There we are. Okay, now you see where my uh, little stems are there, got space. Okay. So you don't have to do this. But I'm going to come on in and say, add a little bit of a wave on purpose. Turning it round. Just do whatever's comfortable for you. If you think you want to use a straight edge and draw these lines really straight, then do so. But just make sure that the gel pen that you've used isn't going to smudge. So it needs to be dry. So if you don't want to add a border, you really don't have to. Well, I think I, yeah. Now, I kind of like that. I like that now. I liked it before, but I like it now. That border in. Okay. So, I've um, just noticed on my uh, little zingers, I just want to add a little bit of a, a white highlight. See, to the opposite side of where I originally put the, the shadow. There we are. Okay. Have I got them all? Oh, one there. I've got them. I think I have. Okay. Oh, thank you, everybody. It's lovely. I do like it. I'm, pr I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> okay. So, white gel pen then. What I'm going to do is, is usually we'd put bubbles on in, in black and that would work really well. Or we could use the blue. But I want to do something a little bit different. So, I'm just going to come up and make it a bit larger for you. So, I just want to add some swirls. And again, if you've got a white tile obviously using a, a white gel pen is not going to do it for you so you could do this with a just a pencil or if you've got a gray gel pen that would be quite nice just the idea is you just want to keep it light and uh, just so we we can't really it's there but we don't want it to sort of take away from the main uh, the main image you see again a little bit smaller they're not all joined they sort of start joined and then they break away. It's perhaps a couple of little dots. Now, you can do this with, you know, your coloured pen if you want to. Okay. You see that? You see that? It's, it's there. We know it's there. But it's not sort of taking away from the rest of the, uh, the artwork. I see here where I've sort of, the white's gone over. I just still want to put that black line back in. So I want that to look like it's behind. So let's add a few more of these in. And again, let's just sort of take your time with your gel pen. You know, it takes a little while to get it going. All right. So 
you see how they're sort of going sitting behind? There they are. Let's have a few little ones dotting around into dots. You see? So again, let's just have, you know, just sort of have a look around your, your tile and just think, you know what? I'm not going to put them in everywhere, but it's just nice to have a little bit of design there somewhere. There we go. Let's have a couple of those there. Let's do one there, look. Yeah, just how it's sort of, let's look a bit bigger, see. That's how it's sort of working there, bringing it together. So it's just nice to, again, i tell you what would look really nice is, as doing these sort of designs with the fairy stencils and I'm sure you've all got fairy stamps and things I think this would be stunning because you could do these flowers really small or you could do quite large ones as well so it they sort of tower over the fairies that would look pretty awesome I'm, I'm thought of that I'd have to I'm gonna have to do it <laughs> look at that all right let's have a couple here Again, just be aware that your gel pen's going to take a while to dry, so you don't really want to be leaning all over it. You can help it. Okay, let's have both a little bit in there. Love you much. And then, of course, on this top end, because I've got a, the ink there, see that white sort of stands out a little bit more. It's almost like it's twilight, isn't it? So, a couple of those little dots in there. All right, being that we uh, did a border, now again, border-wise, you can actually shade inside or outside. That's uh, decision-wise. I think I'm gonna, let's have a look, I'm gonna go inside. So I'm just gonna add in some pencil. Now, of course, if you're gonna go over your gel pen, again, make sure it's dry, because we don't wanna be uh, smudging it. There we go. All right, so obviously going under that, I'm not going to go over that bit. And in there. It's all got this magical quality, hasn't it? It looks a little bit sort of, let's say, twilight-like kind of time. Okay. So then, tortillon. And because I'm working on a, like a super smooth tile, I'm just going to, sort of take it round in swirls if it was on a regular cartridge i'd just be sort of going up and down with it and that would um, that would do do the job with that but this one I'm just gonna i don't want it to go too far in just sort of want it on that inside edge now you see here where you might think oh it needs a bit more then just really really ease off the pressure just ever so gently take it in a bit more if you think it needs it. Okay, this is the test now when you think, yeah, my gel pen's dry. It isn't. <laughs> so just make sure it is. There. Okay. Oh, I feel like we've created a really nice piece of art today. I just think, say, it's like just under an hour ago, this was a blank tile. And we just work straight on with a pen. There's no pencil involved. Nothing. Just exactly what you've drawn. There we go. Just see that? That'll take a little bit of sort of work. It's just about, you know, you want a little bit of a, a shadow there. There we go. Okay, and of course that just that white highlight there is just beautiful. Absolutely. Okay, so with that in mind, let's have a let's just we'll take it in a little bit so you can see it with the there you are. The border. Whew. Do you know I, I love that? I can't tell you how much I love that. I've got visions and I've got a bit of a plan as to what I was doing, but never quite sort of truly imagined how that was gonna work out. I absolutely love that one. So, okay, last thing to do then. So, of course, we've put our name on the back. It just about warrants a signature, a little bit of a monogram. There we go. So, that's going to go underneath there. 
All right, so just your initials on the front there. And a couple of little dots. There we go. And that is tile 133. My goodness me. It still makes me giggle when I think I was only going to do 12. And I'm on 133. And yeah, we're still going strong. We've got tile swaps going all over the place. So many books now. And oh, it's just wonderful. Thank you ever so much for just continuing to support me and follow me and be here twice a week just even if it's to say hi so okay i'm gonna leave you with that one and uh, yeah see how you get on with it have a bit of a play and let me know i look forward to this and all being well i will see you back here on friday for tile 134 so all right in the meantime take care and uh, yeah be safe and have a good one and i will see you soon all right bye everyone